In this video, we're going to do a quick tutorial on your computer's environment variable or your path. And be sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video and leave a comment and visit the website truthseekers.io for uh, more tutorials. So basically what your path does is it lists all the directories that the computer is going to search through in order to run a command. So let's go ahead and take a look at the path. You can run the echo path. And so we can see that the computer is going to look in this directory. And then the colon is the separator. So that starts a new one. This directory, uh, user local bin, user bin, etc. So it's going to search through all of these uh, folders for a command to run. So that means when we run a command like ls, uh, that command is somewhere in the path. And we can look at it. Uh, well, I know that it's in the slash bin. So if we look through it, we can actually see copy, move, ls, and a whole bunch of other commands. So any command needs to be in the path or you need to specify the location of the executable file. So let's go ahead and look at an example. I'm going to make a file called hudad, and this is going to be an executable program. So we're just gonna make a quick bash script, bin bash, and we're gonna, just gonna echo, I am a hudad command. And then we'll write that. And then we need to make it uh, executable and then we're gonna go ahead and try to run that command from our or that program that executable executable program from our root the directory and it's not gonna work so who dad bash command not found so and that's because you know it's not on our path so we need to specify the file or the location that would be one option so we can do from that directory that hudad is in dot slash hudad and we get the command but again we don't get it so uh, we have to put it in our path and if we echo path we can see that um, the slash bin is one folder where the hudad where, where that's in the path so if we move hudad into the bin, oops, uh, sudo move into bin, then if we try to call hudad, it's going to work because now that command, now that file or that program is in our path. Another option is to add the specific file folder into the path. And you may want to do that for like a package manager like Composer or something. So let's go ahead and see how to do that. Let's move, um, well, let's make dir um, test dir in our home directory. And then we'll move the hudad into the test directory. Or uh, sudo. I always forget that. Okay, so now if we uh, check out our test directory, we should have the hudad command. But if we go into our home directory, won't be, we won't be able to run it. No such file directory or command not found. Um, so we need to add it to our path. So the way that we would do that is with our, um, our .bash rc file or our .bash profile. Uh, file and one of those, you know, there's probably more that would work, but I use my bash rc. So let's go ahead and do bash rc. So we'll edit this, and this will how this is how you make your path permanent. So you do export path equals and then the existing path, and then you set the new path. So our my home directory is home slash john slash test dir and that's the folder that is that has the um, the hudad command so if we close this out let's refresh the session and now run hudad and we get hudad and if we check our path we see this home slash john slash test dir is now in the path because of our bashed rc file it has this export command 
And that's basically how you update your path permanently. The last thing is you may want to add, prepend the folder to the path. So if you want to do that, we would need to do, uh, well, I'll just show you. So uh, vi.bashrc, and I actually wanted to use bash profile, but that's not that big of a deal. So uh, if you want to put the folder in the beginning of the path, then you just move the path to the end. So we've got uh, path equals the directory you want to add to the path, and then colon path, and then that will move it to the end. So if we close this out and refresh, echo path, and now you can see slash home slash John slash tester is at the very beginning. And that's basically path, your path environment variable. Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out the website truthseekers.io for more tutorials and recommended books and other stuff. So have a good day. See you later.